Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Ben's day. I've got my coffee. I just got to the Ben's, aka the Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound to dig through buckets and buckets of clothes and trash and <laughs> that's what I do. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Danielle. I'm a full-time reseller and I make YouTube videos kind of just showing what I pick up at the outlet. Um, oh my gosh, I'm spilling my coffee. Um, so yes, join me. We're going to head inside. I'm going to kind of film as much as I can and show you what I'm finding here. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to do a haul and show you everything I picked up and kind of go over what I expect to sell things for or brands to be on the lookout for, maybe new to me that I've found. Um, so yeah, let's head in. I'm so excited. We're going to find some good stuff today. I can feel it. Okay, I swapped everything out, put in my fanny pack. I have two big bags. I have a banana I'm ready to go. $78 was spent, 45 pounds. I got two full Ikea bags. I am excited to show you guys everything I got. It was a really good day. And I found a bunch of hangers for my daughter because I can't stop buying her clothes. So, woo! <laughs> well, hello, welcome to the haul portion of this video. I have an Ikea bag and a half to go through. Um, pretty good trip to the bins. Um, in total, I spent $78.20. I did get 60 items, so that averages out to be $1.30 per item, which is so good. <laughs> so good. That's why I love the bins. That's why I love getting basically 95% of what I resell from the outlet because I love a low cost of goods. And I am very lucky to have a good Ben's location near me because I know some people aren't as lucky. So I am very, very grateful. <laughs> okay, so first up, this is a Lululemon. This is one of the first things I found. It's a men's Lululemon button up and this actually already sold for $30. It sold less than a day, I believe. So that was a really good sale. This is something I decided that I'm gonna keep for myself. It's just BDG. It's a really cute, like oversized waffle knit button up. I just love this blue color and it looks so cozy. Um, if I were to resell that, probably 20, 25 is what I would get for that. Next is a great brand. It's called Big Bud. These are a 1XL. They are called the easy pant so they're just a pull-on kind of lounge pant and they are so cozy so cute these i think they retail for like 150 i have mine up for 50 that's what they are going for pre-owned and the sell-through rate is really good for this brand um yeah really good find i've never found that brand before i have heard of it um numerous times and i have been looking for it so i'm really glad that i found it this was a random pickup that I'm hoping will sell just based off of style, but it is this really cute patchwork jumpsuit. And I think this is something that you can just buy on Amazon. So I couldn't find the exact style um, anywhere online, so I don't know where it's from, but I have it up for $19.99. Some of the keywords that I used were um, festival, boho, um just things like that so i'm hoping that those keywords will help pull the sell 
And then with it being patchwork as well, people kind of, it's more of a sought after item. So, and it's a size medium, 100% cotton. It is so cute. It's kind of like a cropped wide leg. Um, so yeah, I think that will sell pretty good. Next is a good find, but mine has a lot of flaws that I didn't notice. So I'm not going to list it. It's just not worth it to me. It's an Ed Hardy um, geisha, like tattoo style, very Y2K, very on trend right now. It's a size small, but um, so normally this geisha would be covered with rhinestones. There are no, no rhinestones anymore. And there are a bunch of tiny little holes all over it. So I'm sure somebody would still rock it in this condition, but there were a lot of smalls already listed and I just didn't, I don't want to mess with it. So, um, I'm going to end up re-donating that, but if it were in good condition, it's definitely something to be on the lookout for. Anything Ed Hardy, older Ed Hardy, Y2K, um, yes, something that people are looking for right now. This is a Sundance, just a really cute thermal. It has the velvet cuff, which is really cute. This I have up for $24.99 or maybe $29.99. That is an extra small, which is kind of harder to sell um, with Sundance, but I think, you know, eventually it's still gonna sell, just not as quickly as a large or an XL or anything like that, but um, definitely love finding that brand at the bins. Oh my gosh, where's the tag? Come on. This is Moth Anthropology. This brand does okay for me. I was able to find a really cute stock photo for this, so um, that should help sell it, but I don't typically get a lot for this brand. Maybe about 20, 25. And this one is a small, I believe. It is so cute. It's very slouchy um boho it's like a heavier knit and it's a three-quarter sleeve um it's super cute really great for fall like those warm warmer fall days this was a fun find this is a vintage nike windbreaker pullover it has the gray tag which is a sought after nike item so this is like 90s maybe late 80s, I'm not really sure on the time frame, but super cute and really good condition. I have this one up for 50, probably get like 35, 40 for that. This is a brand, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna list it, honestly, just because there are very, very few listed online and the sell-through rate is not good. So I did pick it up on a whim because it is cashmere, and I'm also fairly positive that this is shrunk. So another reason why I'm not going to sell it just because I don't know and I don't want somebody to get it and, you know, it'd be not what they're expecting. But it is House of Carrington Isabel. The only thing I could find on it was that maybe it sold at like a golf, like a country club, a golf course sort of thing. A lot of the ones that I found were from like a country club or a golf course. They all had some sort of golf embroidered logo on them. So I'm guessing that that's where this line comes from, but I should have, you know, done more research before I bought it. So I'm not going to be listing that one. Next is a vintage express, which is something that is selling pretty well right now. This is a super cute, snakeskin print midi skirt and it has a super cute um, thigh high slit so very trendy very cute and it is a small it's a rayon blend so it has that nice stretchy feel to it oh i should i have that listed for 29.99 so i'm guessing that i will get somewhere around that um, next is a brand called Four Days, which I have never heard of, but it is very nicely made in um, organic cotton. So I wanted to try these out. They have cute little, kind of like a smiley face embroidered logo. They are a women's small, very cute and cozy. They are kind of like a, they're, they're a heavier, um, just a really good material you can tell. 
and they are selling more consistently on Poshmark than eBay. Um, so I'm thinking that they will sell over there. I have mine up for 24, I believe. This is just a little Athleta sports bra or everyday bra, I guess is what it's, it's called. Maybe, yeah, not really a sports bra, but kind of like a little bralette, wireless bralette. This I have it for 12, not expecting much, and it is a size medium. It's cute. Okay, next is Smart Wool. This is a great find. It does have a flaw, unfortunately. I missed it at the bins, but this is a cow neck sweater. Women size medium, really cute. It does have a flaw at the corner. Pretty big, maybe like the size of a penny or a dime. Um, so somebody would have to stitch that up. I did note that in my listing. I have it up for $19.99 um, just to see if anybody is willing to um, repair it. And we'll see how that goes. Next is a Prana. Really cute. It's called, oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. California Dreamin', I think is the name of this or the style of this dress. Really cute mustard yellow stripedy. It has the tiered bottom. Really cute midi dress. I have this one up for 40. Probably get like 25 to 30 for that. Next is a Maeve Anthropology Colette pants. This little lobster print is so precious and is kind of a bolo. <laughs> Um, I have mine up for 50. They are a size 25. So on the tinier side, but this style, um, it does go for, for a good amount. So I have mine up for 50. There were quite a few that have sold in the 50 to $75 range. And then the ones that are listed now, 50 to like 85 is what people are selling them at. But those were so cute. This one actually sold this morning. Ah, it's a really cute Zara blazer. Um, after some research, I learned that this is a Chanel dupe and that's why it sold so quickly. So this sold for 38 in I wanna say like four days and super cute. It has really cute buttons, has the gold trim, contrast. Yes, I knew it would sell. I picked up two Zara blazers actually with this haul and they both already sold. So definitely don't be afraid to pick up Zara, especially at the bins because it will sell. Um, you know, picking it up for $1.30 and flipping it for 38 is great. But the other one that sold, I think sold for 18 to 20. So still a good return, Whoop. but you know, some will go for more than others. Okay, this is cute. <laughs> this one actually sold today as well for 32. I did not know what brand this was because it was nowhere to be found. So I did a Google reverse image search and it is the brand Brighton and just one of their in the garden canvas totes. <laughs> brand new, these were going for probably like 50 to 60. Um, but I had mine listed for 40 and it sold overnight for 32 so definitely a cute little tote bag that people are looking for okay half a bag down here we go next is urban outfitters which i normally do not pick up but this one was new a tag and can you believe it 129 dollars for this dress little tiny mini dress it has the embroidered um i don't I guess front front part <laughs> but it's really cute it's a size small i have mine up for 40 and i should probably get like 30 for that um that will take a little bit to sell sell through ray is not the best definitely an oversaturated brand so i'm not expecting it to sell anytime soon especially because it's no longer summer um but i was willing to sit on it with it being new a tag otherwise i would not have picked it up next is a brand called hook or huck i think it's hook it's just a fishing <clears throat> brand a men's fishing brand here's their little logo on the back these I have up for, I think, 40. 
They are just a men's kind of athletic nylon fishing pant. And the selfie rate is pretty good on this brand. Definitely something I would run comps on if you come across it because that's the second item that I've found from them. One has already sold. It was just like a base layer. It sold for 20 and then those should sell pretty quickly. Some Madewell paper bag, kind of straight leg pants. These are so cute. The orange color. What size are they? A small. And I think they're a newer style too. I forgot. Let me check. They are oh, 2020. So a summer 2020. Oh, it still has the little plastic thing in here. So I doubt that these have ever been worn. They're very cute. I have them up for I think 30, 35. <clears throat> these are a pair of men's piranha shorts, very wrinkly. <laughs> um, these have a specific style name I cannot remember, but they are a more popular style. And um, they did sell for quite a bit more than I thought they would. Or not sell. They didn't sell yet, but they do sell for about 30 to 40. I have mine up for 40. They're in really good condition, a size 32. Here's another Bella doll. I've been kind of experimenting with this brand, just seeing how it does. This is a super cute popover top, and it has a split in the back which I love. You can wear a little bralette, like a lacy top and it'll peek through in the back. It's a small, I have this one up for I think 24 or 30 possibly. This was an amazing find. It's vintage, lucky brand. Where's the tag? Um, so cute. Very Asian inspired, which is something that people are searching for when it comes to vintage Lucky Brand. Um, I have sold quite a few pairs of their sweatpants and they usually go between like 75 to 100. This I have up for I think 90 and it has I think seven watchers already. It's a size large and somebody threw this back <laughs> and I grabbed it really quick thinking like, oh, maybe there's a hole in it. Maybe they found a flaw, but there's no flaws. They're just, they just didn't like it. They were probably shopping for like personal items and maybe that didn't fit them. So I was very lucky to be there at that time to grab that. I just realized that my nails match my cardigan like perfectly. <laughs> Would you look at that? I do need to redo them. I do my nails at home. I have like a shellac kit because I was spending so much money at the nail salon and I just like to do them myself anyway because I feel like I can get everything that I want perfectly. <laughs> so I'm going to redo them probably, and I hate to say it, but probably like cherry red for Christmas because it's November 1st and we are now in Christmas season. I'm sorry for those who don't agree, but I love Halloween so, so much, but I am ready for Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, these are Crate and Barrel stockings. Probably shouldn't have picked these up because they're missing some tufts right here. And a few on this side. So, you know, if you hang them a certain way, you won't be able to tell that it's missing anything. Um, they're very cute. I have them up for 15. So I'm just hoping somebody will take them and, and run, run with them. So, um, if there weren't any flaws, maybe I could get 20, 25, but because of that, I priced at 19.99 and, um, somebody offers me 10 to 15. They are yours. Next was a fun find. Neiman Marcus Cloud Cashmere. New with tag at the bins. This is a men's XL. Retails for $295. Um, yeah, this has no holes, no flaws. It's very, very perfect for Christmas. <laughs> um, perfect little maroon burgundy color. I love it. I have this one up for, I think, close to 100. Um, this will sell for the holiday season. I know it. 
even Thanksgiving, perfect for Thanksgiving too. This is Brixton, which is not necessarily a skate brand, I don't think, but um, definitely a brand they sell at like Zoomies and stuff. This is a corduroy like chore jacket or garage jacket. I think that's what they called it. It's a medium. I have this one up for 80. <laughs> I was not expecting it to go for that much or to be listed for that much, you know. I just grabbed it because I knew that they are expensive and I know that this is a style that people are wearing right now. So I'm hoping to get around then, around that price, but we shall see. Okay, next is a, <laughs> let's see if I can show this, a super cute like corset. It's like a patent leather with these skulls on it very pirate <laughs> very steampunk this is the brand von lancelot and because this doesn't have the little tie thingies i'll have to list it for a little bit cheaper and i can't actually remember what i um comp this out at so i'm gonna put a little um screenshot of some items from this brand and what they sell for but from what I remember it was pretty good um, definitely a brand that if you come across anything by them to run your comps because I think it's more of like a I don't know cosplay pirate goth steampunk that sort of thing definitely a brand to be on the lookout for and we got loft new with tag size 10 retails for 70 only reason why I picked this up is because it's new with tag and it's precious <laughs> it has like a silky satin feel it is a pink like polka dot floral so cute for fall I love it and I have this one up for I think 30 loft is not necessarily a brand that I will go crazy if I find it <laughs> but um yeah, since that is new with tag, I thought I would give it a shot. Oh, sorry. I gotta get my pile going. Next is a brand, Chalet, which I have seen so many times and I have never picked up. But this was, it's new with tag for $72. And never in my life did I think that this brand sold for a good amount, but <laughs> it does. The selfie rate is not that great, but when they do sell, some of them are selling in like that 50, 40, $50 range. This is a large and it is, it's kind of hard to see, but it has the knot at the bottom and it's a midi dress. Just a super cute, easy to wear. Um, I have mine up for $49.99, I believe. Next is Spiritual Gangster, size large. These are just a, a a pair of cute little striped shorts not expecting these to sell quickly spiritual gangster is a brand that just sits for a while for me but i thought i would give them one more shot <laughs> see how these do i think i have mine up for 20 25 and then i found two pair of cool pants these were in the same bin they were women's size 10 just a really cute kind of cargo roll up pant so you can roll them up into capris. I've never seen this color, so green and then a red, like a burnt orange reddish color. So both size 10, they are both listed for 40 each. Probably get like close to 30 for each of those. Next is a, man, quite a few new with tags. I didn't even realize. These are some Jordan women's cargo pants. They are a 2X, very cute and on trend right now. And they retailed for 120, I believe. Yep, 120. I have mine up for 60 and very exciting find. These were also put back. Somebody just didn't want those. So that was a fun little find. Next, a pair of figs. I love picking figs up at the bins. This one does have a little flaw at the drawstring, a little rip, but 
Once they're tied, you cannot see, so I still decided to pick them up. Probably get about 15 to 20 for these. These are a pair of free people, size 31, so great free people size. They are like the boyfriend, oh man, I forgot what they're called. But they're a boyfriend fit, kind of olive green cargo. They have like a cropped ankle, very, very cute. I have mine up for 30. Next we've got Vince. This is a newer Vince tag, size six. These are a super cute cropped wide leg pants. Perfect for work. Love these. I have these ones up for 40. Picked up a little polo Ralph Lauren, a little sweater vest. I thought this would be perfect for the holidays. People are gonna be searching for um, outfits to wear for family photos. This is a three, three T. So cute. This is up for 20. Next is a great brand to know. It's Planet by Lauren G. New to me brand. I had to do some research and I'm glad that I did not put this back because I was so close to, to throwing it back in the bin. But Made in the USA was my, um, my clue to look into this more. Um, looking up Planet was not getting me anywhere on eBay. So um, that was not what was popping up. This brand was not what was popping up when I typed in Planet. I had to go, oh my gosh, I don't remember how I did it. I think Google, I just typed in Planet brand. And then from there, Planet by Lauren G popped up. And then I was able to run that on um, eBay. And that's how I was able to run my comp. So if I wouldn't have done that, I would have just thrown this back. Um, but I have this up for 60. It's very, it's kind of like a lag and look brand. Definitely one to be on the lookout for. Norse Projects, another good brand to be on the lookout for. Their jackets, coats, pants do a lot better than their um, shirts or sweaters, but this one I have up for, I think, $29.99. Just a cute little crew neck, and I believe they only do men's clothing. Next is a brand that I've never heard of, Novella Royale which I believe was sold at Free People. This style specifically was sold at Free People. It has like a low back and it's a bodycon like mini dress. I probably would not have picked this up if I would have done more research, but I'm willing to give it a try now that I own it. Now that I have it, <laughs> I'm gonna list it and see how it does. Um, selfie rate is not the best. There are not very many listed on eBay, but it, the ones that were selling were probably between 20 and 40 so I'm hoping to get around that for for that guy um Jonas Brothers Happiness Begins tour merch I'm always picking up merch and looking it up this one may take a little bit to sell but it always surprises me how quickly band merch tees sell for um or sell they don't sell for much, maybe 15 to 20, but they usually sell pretty quickly. This is a super cute brand. Hugo loves Tiki. I believe it's just a children's brand, but look at this cute little dress. It's a 4T, it has little poodles all over. It's like a terry cloth. It's adorable. I have this one up, I think for 30, I wanna say 30 but definitely a cute brand to be on the lookout for. Next is the brand Storia, which is a boutique brand. Not the best selfie rate, but I thought this was so cute and it has a lot of great, um, you know, sellable factors with the square neck, the puff sleeve, the floral, and it has like an eyelet print to it. And just the colors, so cute. I'm hoping to get, you know, 20 for this. And I've got a free people dress. What size is this? Extra small, not expecting much for this, maybe 20 bucks. 
but it is a super cute floral, like calico floral print. And it has the open back. I believe this is called like an apron dress. So open back, you can either cross it like that or just do regular straps down the back. This I have up for, I think 25. I have a Pilcro medium, cute little popover purpley lavender color. I think I have this one up for 25. And you guys, only one more left. <laughs> Um, I showed, um, a story of me cleaning these boots on my Instagram. So I don't know if anybody follows me on there. I rarely, rarely post, but I'm trying to post more, but these are some Blundstones and they are a youth size one. Um, so that would be a US two, two and a half. These things were pretty beat up and I was able to clean them up pretty nicely. Still have a lot of life left. And these boots are a major bolo. So I have mine up for 60, hoping to get between 40 and 50 for them. And yeah, definitely exciting. I have only ever found kids Blundstones. I'm waiting for the day that I find a pair for myself. <laughs> but um, to find these at the bins for $1.30 per shoe, and then to be able to flip them for hopefully 50 would be great. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited about these and they turned out so nice. You have to love the Doc Martin Wonder Balsam. It does wonders. <laughs> that is all she wrote. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you're not already. And I thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.